guys so welcome back to my channel I am coming to you today with my finale for my finish five by fall I did all samples for this project and I actually did 10 since they were just samples I doubled it and I did 10 so I am just gonna go through and show those to you real quick I finished everything. It is the 15th of September and the first day of fall is the 23rd. So I completed this project successfully. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you the products that I finished and kind of do a little um, total at the end. So I will go ahead and get started with that. I don't know ex the exact order that I finished everything in, but I do know that I finished first the Ulla Henriksen Truth Serum, and I'm just going to go ahead and do mini reviews in my empties video, and I'm not sure if I already showed this. I know I've mentioned a couple times how I feel about this product, so I probably won't give any review on this product in any future videos. If this has already been in empties, I'm just going to go ahead and toss it, and I will, any other products that I haven't already discussed, I will just go ahead and give you mini reviews in a empties for the month. The next product I finished up and I'm very sad about is the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer, and I will be purchasing a full um, full size of this when I finish up some other primers. So I guess that's kind of my mini review that I'm not going to do in these videos. But uh, I also finished up the Professional. I have several of these sample sizes. Not all this size, but several different sizes all sample. I don't have a full size product of this. But I finished this. I finished the Hey Honey Take It Off almond is it almond no exfoliate ex exfoliating the exfoliating peel off mask I finished the wish shave cream I finished the benefit hello flawless oxygen wow foundation mm. And I finally finished my Urban Decay Primer Potion samples. So as you can see, I finished all four of these. The last two that were kind of hanging on were my Sin and my Eden. So the Sin was kind of the hardest to use. The last couple times I used it, I actually just wore it all over the lid with nothing on top of it, kind of on my lighter makeup days when I really wasn't doing much for makeup. So that is everything. I finished all 10 products, so I call this project a success, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching my progress with these products. Um, I did do a little tally of, I think I might have mentioned this in one of my videos, I did a tally of how much the sample size of this product would cost based on the fluid ounces or the size and the cost of the full size product and the amount of ounces and stuff that is. Now I realize these are all samples, I didn't pay any money for these, but I thought it would still be kind of cool to um, tally up the cost of what these samples would cost should they be sold as individual samples and you know what they would probably cost for that so um, the total that I used up for that is actually fifty six dollars and fifty seven cents mm. so I thought that was pretty cool that if I were to have these as full-size products and the amount of product that I used for those was pretty much fifty six dollars I, I still thought that was pretty cool it's good to have these samples out of my collection taking up space and what have you so I'm gonna do maybe not like official product projects but I am gonna work on more of my samples maybe incorporate them into some of my baskets and maybe kind of in future projects I will put together like I will add it as a kind of gimme product or whatever so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all of my progress on this project. And I am going to be filming a couple more videos today so you'll see me with the same hair, same makeup, and wearing the same shirt. So I will see you guys in my next video and I will talk to you soon. Bye!